Welcome back, Grey's Anatomy fans. Today we're celebrating one of the most beloved and complex couples in Grey Sloan Memorial history, Jackson Avery and April Kepner. Their relationship has taken us on an unforgettable journey, filled with intense passion, devastating heartbreak, and moments that have left us all breathless. I'm happy to be here today. I love you. I always have. From the very first spark of chemistry between them to the tumultuous twists and turns that followed, they have captivated our hearts with their deep love, unwavering friendship, and moments of loss and reconciliation. Whether it's their spontaneous elopement that left us all cheering, their heart-wrenching breakups that made us reach for the tissues, or their tender moments of reconciliation that gave us hope, their journey is nothing short of epic. So grab your tissues and get ready to relive the magic as we count down the top 10 Jackson and April moments on Grey's Anatomy. Starting off at number 10, we have April's battle to save their marriage. Everyone handles grief differently. For April, coping meant leaving Jackson behind to work in a war zone for nearly a year trying to process the tragedy. For Jackson, however, this was the time he needed her support the most, and her return felt like it came too late. Till they get your grandstand results. Jackson, I've been gone for three months. Can we at least have a conversation? I have a uh, consult. Wait! Come on! Isolated and separated by a glass wall while awaiting test results, unable to touch Jackson through the glass, she reminds him of their wedding vows and makes an emotional plea for their marriage. We stood up in that weird smelling little chapel in Tahoe and before God, we chose to love one another until we died. At number nine, we have Reunion. Shortly after their divorce, they end up on a work trip to Montana to perform a delicate surgery on a young girl's throat. Despite their strained relationship, April notices that Jackson's estranged father lives in town and that this is affecting his work. Okay, so what's your idea? I don't have one. What? She supports him in facing his unresolved feelings. Through this process, they come up with a way to save the girl's life and the two reminiscing about old times. And at number eight, we have When Jackson Stood Up for April. The night before their oral board exams, a chance encounter at a bar brings April and Jackson, two colleagues with undeniable chemistry, closer together. It all starts when a resident, Kevin Banks, makes a scene, prompting Jackson to intervene and tell Kevin to leave. April then delivers an impressive punch, but Jackson ends up taking a retaliatory hit. Really? You wanna go? Yeah, bitch! I wanna go! It becomes her turn to step in and defuse the situation. Number seven, we have Jackson's prayer for April. Who doesn't love a miracle? When April is involved in a serious car accident, the outlook is grim. She's cold and showing no vital signs, but her friends are determined not to give up. When Jackson finishes surgery and hears about her critical state, he sits down to pray. Despite not being religious himself, he knows it's what she would want. I will. I will. Oh, I will believe in you. Suddenly, her fingers curl around his, and he realizes his prayer has been answered. When the examiner asks you a question and you can't answer it, because instead of getting a good night's sleep, you are engaging in a ballroom brawl. At number six, we have April's night with Jackson. On the same night as the confrontation at the hotel bar, Jackson and April find themselves heading upstairs together. Fueled by adrenaline, and caught up in the moment, she decides to set aside her religious beliefs and lose her virginity to Jackson in her hotel room. This night marks the beginning of a relationship filled with highs and lows. At number five, we have When Jackson Got Hurt in the Explosion. 
after Jackson is injured rescuing a little girl from a bus crash, April admits that she still has strong feelings for him. I want you, Jackson. Despite being engaged to Matthew, taking a bold risk, she confesses the depth of her emotions to him, even saying she'll call off the wedding if he gives her a reason to stay. You're getting married. Coming off at number four, we have the tragic loss of their baby. The place he's supposed to be safe, his, his bones are break. No, I just, um, can... I am so sorry. The devastating news that their baby won't survive birth leaves both of them shattered, with her struggling to find meaning amidst the tragedy. They hold their newborn son, knowing he has only a few hours to live. This moment impacts their relationship, bringing them together initially, but ultimately driving them apart as they cope with the emotional aftermath. At number three, we have signing the divorce papers. They tried to make it work, but after everything they had been through, it proved too difficult. In this emotional episode, we witness the divorce proceedings between them, interwoven with flashbacks that delve into their relationship over the years. The heart-wrenching scene comes when April asks Jackson one final question. You want this? Do you really want this? before signing the divorce papers. His silence speaks volumes, and with a heavy heart, she picks up the pen, leaving viewers feeling the weight of their shared history. And at number two, we have false pregnancy alarm. April realizes she's 10 days late. She worries that their premarital antics might have serious consequences. Through this scare, they both come to terms with the idea that they would marry each other and raise the baby together if it turned out to be true. We get married. We have a house we get a big what? yard and we have a wedding and we have a huge a, freaking wedding in a, in a field with butterflies butterflies a know. field whatever you want okay your family's gonna be there my family my, my crazy mom's gonna be there <laughs> however it turns out to be a false alarm while april expresses relief about not having to get married jackson feels a bit hurt finally at number one we have jackson's objection as April and Matthew's big day arrives, Jackson is at the ceremony with Stephanie. He stands up and declares his love for April, hoping she feels the same. I love everything about you, even the things I don't like. I love. I love you, and I think that you love me too. Fortunately, she does, avoiding what could have been an even more uncomfortable situation. Remarkably, the couple leaves the wedding together and elopes, creating one of the most memorable moments for this incredible duo. And there you have it, the top 10 Jackson and April moments that have defined their unforgettable journey on Grey's Anatomy. From their roller coaster romance to the heartwarming and heart-wrenching moments, this couple has truly left a mark on our hearts. Whether you're rooting for their reunion or reminiscing about their ups and downs, their story continues to be one of the most compelling in the series. Thanks for joining me on this walk down memory lane. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more Grey's Anatomy content and stay tuned for our next deep dive into the world of Grey Sloan Memorial. See you next time.